Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Lausch Bosse and Helios UV Immune for 100 SPF 50 Plus, which is a broad spectrum sunscreen that protects against both UVA and UVB rays. It is suitable for all skin types and it is a very lightweight fluid that's invisible so it does not leave a white cast. And it is marketed as water, sweat and sand resistant. Now you can use the sunscreen on its own, just make sure to properly wash your face before applying the sunscreen and pat the skin dry in between. That's a demonstration that I'm about to share with you. However, if you want to include it in your morning skincare routine and you're using more than one product, then please remember the order of application. And this is now where I want to quickly go over so that you have the steps in mind. Now, first of all, make sure to properly wash your face with a cleanser that's suitable for your skin type and needs. This is not an optional step. Please do this before applying your sunscreen. Then when it comes to the optional steps, which you can include if you have them at home, then this can be, for example, an hydrating and soothing toner or the thermal spring water face mist after a cleansing step. Then after that, you can move on to specific treatments depending on your skin concerns. Then an lightweight moisturizer if you should experience dryness or have a drier skin type before applying your sunscreen. Now make sure to, to choose those skincare products accordingly to your skin type and skin needs. And always give it a moment to absorb into the skin before heading into the next step and then the sunscreen is going to be the last step to properly protect the skin before you have sun exposure now in case you're a person that likes to wear makeup then your makeup application is going to be the last step just remember that once you have applied the sunscreen to the skin to wait at least 10 to 15 minutes in between for the sunscreen to set before heading into for example your foundation or concealer steps because otherwise you can move around to protection and then it becomes quite uneven and be gentle when doing the application. And then this would be the setup of an example morning skincare routine. Now if I went through it too fast and you want to see it as a visual guide, I have prepared for you everything in a PowerPoint. This includes the morning example skincare routine that I just emphasized with a general guide below it on how you can use the products. I have also want to share with you an evening skincare routine just in case that you remember that in the evening there's no sunscreen needed. And then if you want to go over the products that I have picked, I have a specific uh, product description part in my PowerPoint as well going over the individual products for whom they are suitable and what they do. Then I have a general skincare tips guide on how you can properly wash your face to avoid skincare peeling and sensitivities, layering tips as well as a proper sunscreen application guide and removal guide. So you'll find all that information in the PowerPoint which I'm going to leave in the description box down below for you ready to download. And so now that you know the setup of an example skincare routine, let's head into the application. Now we're going to get started with the first step, which is properly washing your face. And I'm going to include this step as well, demonstrate it so that you can see what points are important to keep in mind. I'm not just going to talk about it. But remember that when working with a cleanser, make sure that it's suitable for your skin type and needs and adjust your cleanser based on what treatments you may be currently using. So if the treatments are quite irritating, can dry out the skin, then work with a gentle non-exfoliating acid cleanser, just to give you an idea of how to adjust it. Then read on the back of the packaging on how you're supposed to use your cleanser. Do you need to apply to dry or wet skin? Use lukewarm water to warm water to rinse it off, but avoid hot water, otherwise it may dry out your skin. When washing your face above the sink, I always recommend working with a damp, clean washcloth to remove any last traces of your cleanser that you cannot properly get off the skin, primarily along the hairline and around the eyes. And then lastly, pat the skin dry. Those are the key points. Please keep this in mind to properly work with your cleanser. As an example, I'm going to use La Roche-Posay Eva Claire Purifying Foaming Gel Cleanser, which is now in this case suitable for oilier skin types. If you have a different one, replace it. This cleanser needs to be applied to wet skin, so I'm now going to wet my face and hands before applying the cleanser to the face. So let's go ahead and do this. Then use about a pump, about a coin size amount of cleanser, rub it between your hands and then gently massage it all over your face at night for about 30 seconds. Now rinse it off. Now 
Then take a damp, clean washcloth to remove any last traces of your cleanser. Then I recommend rinsing again. And now go ahead and take a clean towel to properly remove the excess water drops from the skin surface to ensure proper layering and avoid skin sensitivity. Once you're done with your cleansing step, if you like to, you now can include your toner, maybe face mist, specific treatments, moisturizer if needed, and then follow on with your sunscreen, or immediately after your cleansing step, move on to the application of the sunscreen, depending on the skincare routine that you usually like to follow. Now, before applying your sunscreen, remember to apply 10 to 15 minutes before sun exposure and give it a good shake. And then I recommend using about half teaspoon for your face, snack, a bit of your decolletage. If you want to blend it further down, you need to use a bit more and including your ears. That one is a very light fluid, half a teaspoon in that general regard works really well for my entire area that, you want, that I want to cover. However, if you have a larger or smaller face, it can be slightly adjusted. Just make sure that you're going to evenly cover the entire area. Now, if you have a bit of an, a sensitive eye area, I recommend avoiding your eye area and make sure to not get it into your eyes nor into your mouth. And instead, wear sunglasses to properly protect the eyes as well. I have half a teaspoon right here to give you a visual guide. So about that much, dispense it in the palm of your hand and then apply it evenly all over your face, neck, your ears if they are exposed and then a bit of your decolletage. So, and once you're done with the application, well then you can stop right here or now move on to your makeup application. Just remember to wait 10 to 15 minutes before moving on to the application of your makeup so that the sunscreen has time to set. And then there you have it. Now, when it comes to the reapplication throughout the day, it basically depends on your daily activities. If you just have a bit of sun exposure, where you're like heading out for school, work, grocery shopping, or lunch, and it's only just for a few minutes, then once you have applied your sunscreen properly in the morning, it should last you for the entire day to give you enough protection. However, if you have more sun exposure and you cannot see any shade, then please remember to reapply it every two hours, or as I still recommend, even though there are marketing claims are a bit different, I still suggest um, reapplying your sunscreen after the sunscreen has rubbed off after swimming or even sweating to make sure to maintain that protection. Now you can see it does not leave a white cast, it gives a very nice dewy finish and it feels extremely lightweight on the skin. And this is because it is a very lightweight fluid like sunscreen, therefore it's also so great for all skin types. And you can customize it if you want to use a moisturizer beforehand or not, based on your skin type and what feels and works best for you. So therefore it's a great sunscreen that you can use on a daily basis or if you just have really prolonged sun exposure to properly protect the skin. And so there you have it, what I wanted to share with you, and I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did so, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to see more educational skincare content, head over to my YouTube channel, and I will see you there. Happy skincareing!